Good evening campers, it's me, Kira, and today we're going to be doing a book haul. We don't often do them here, but when we do, we do them well. Simply put, I feel as though my reading has got a little bit stale, so I want to get into science fiction. So I got some science fiction books. Now, I'm not going to say that I'm a science fiction newbie. I have read my fair share of science fiction, but I want to revisit and I want to expand my horizons. I suppose what started it off was Bookshop Day in the UK, where I made a video and I bought John Wyndham's The Day of the Triffids, which I have now read, and I gotta edit my review. I just enjoyed the plotted nature. Nature. <laughs> oh, I'm a big boy beer. I didn't really know anything about it, and you know what? That's kind of what I want. I want to go into books I literally have no concept about. Therefore, I finally picked up the fifth season, which everyone had talked about, but I didn't really know what it was about, and the back of the book doesn't really tell you anything about what it's about and I'm gonna be reviewing this one but it will be a coffee only review and if you would like to sign up to Plek please click down below. You can help support the channel, you can join the Discord and the Discord is absolutely bent. So what do you do if you want to do a big haul but you don't have a lot of money? You go to the library and so I did. Now I will say the reason why I picked up the majority of these was because of the Library of Alexandria's Discord. They do fantasy, they do sci-fi, so I asked them. When in doubt, you go to people who know, and one name that came up was Becky Chambers, and this is To Be Taught If Fortunate. This wasn't the book that people recommended. They mentioned um, The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, but the library didn't have it in, so I picked up a different one. Additionally, I picked up The Left Hand of Darkness, which I have read, I studied it for university, and think it is one of the best books ever written, so I'm really looking forward to reading this, but I'm not looking forward to the bit where they just walk through the tundra for a really long time. I also picked up Adrian Tchaikovsky's Ogres because the cover's ridiculous. That, that's a top hat. Um, that's, that's the only reason I picked it up, but it was in the sci-fi section. And then we have the first sci-fi book I ever read, and that was Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Again, I love it. Agent Decker lives in my head rent-free. I read it when I was 20, so eight years ago. Eight years ago I read it, so I'm going to reread it. We'll review this on the channel. I, I do quite like Philip K. Dick, and I've always wanted to read Ubik. And I started this yesterday, um, and I kind of forgot how um, Dick's quite difficult. <laughs> Mr. PKD does not go lightly, and we're already dealing with uh, like people who are half dead being able to communicate telepathically. Uh, we're just on chapter two. It'll probably melt my brain. And I'll probably love it. And then the last one I physically picked up was Spirals by Koji Suzuki, which is the sequel to The Ring. Yes, that film. They are ordering Ring for me and they're ordering Loop the Third in this trilogy. And I finally got around to watching The Ring. I should specify I watched the original Japanese version. I've not actually watched the English version, but I was curious one that wait it's a book i didn't know it was a book and secondly and the reason why i went out to get this was i couldn't figure out how the ring works as a book because it's a very visual like technological horror that was really pioneering and i can't figure out how it works as a book we're, we're gonna find out one way shape or form i also have an order starship troopers by heinlein because I don't understand why this is so beloved, because it's just about people who shoot bugs. Well, that's all I know about it, is it is people who shoot bugs. And look at this cover, it's ridiculous, isn't it? So those are the library books, but I realized that the world of books had an offer. So if you buy three, you get the fourth one free. Just to let you know, some codes on world of books are stackable. So if you use these two codes side by side, you get 10% off twice, but it's only these two codes that work. Just in case you didn't know. To move a little bit away from sci-fi, I picked up the book that everyone tells me I should read, but I don't really want to because it seems like a lot of effort. But I finally picked up the first book of Malazan, people. I know this could actually happen. Gardens of the Moon. I really hope this is the first one. If not, I'm very stupid. Please tell me um, if I'm wrong. I know nothing about it apart from Philip Chase likes it. That was kind of enough for me. Now we're going back to sci-fi, and I always have one rule that I tell people. If they want to get into something new, stick with the classics. So I picked up the quintessential sci-fi author. Maybe I'd put Asimov above him. I'm not entirely sure. We can argue about it in the comments. But Arthur C. Clarke. I picked up The City and the Stars, which was called his, his best work. And then another one which was highly recommended, and Zara told me to pick this one up specifically, which was Rendezvous with... 
Brahma. I've only read two short stories by Arthur C. Clarke, and I, I thought I owned 2001 A Space Odyssey, but apparently I don't. I don't know where it's gone, but if I find it, there's also that one. And I've not watched the film. I don't know what Space Odyssey is about. I also picked up Roger Zelazny's Lord of Light, solely based on this cover. Looks ridiculous. Also reminded me, remember um, Enter Electro? The old uh, PS1 game, like the end boss? That, that looks quite good. But this is about a world where Eastern mythology takes precedence. So the Hindu mythology is the hierarchy of these godlike humans, but... One person called Sam is the Buddha, so he's walking away from it. Um, th that just sounds interesting. I also picked up Gregory Benford's Timescape, just because this looked like Rainbow Road. I don't know what it's about, and I don't particularly care. I just like the cover. So one thing I noticed with sci-fi, and I don't think it's as prevalent in other genres, let me know if I'm wrong, is that two people write one book. I just find that interesting as a concept. I'm not shy to say that I like Russian literature, therefore I picked up the kings of the Soviet sci-fi world, which is Arkady and Boris Strugatsky. I got this one because it was a nice cover. <laughs> I don't know what these are about. Then I also picked up Hard to Be a God, which is like a science fiction story set in like a medieval alien world truly it was just the cheapest one the majority of these i just did sought descended and chose the cheapest ones another tour is paul and cornbruth's the space merchants which kingsley amis said has many claims to be in the best science fiction novel so far now kingsley amis welsh man i'm gonna trust him it doesn't take much to convince me i'm not going to lie and then this one i saw the author's name got really petrified i'm okay i'm going to be completely open and honest here i've not read anything by this author for sheer panic that i'm not going to understand a single word i'm not i've not read anything by him but i think the fact that he's worked with someone else might lighten the load a little bit and that is william gibson from new romancer fame and bruce sterling from bruce sterling fame the difference engine and i just hope that if i can read this and vaguely understand it i can finally read new romancer and i'll be really happy with myself but i'm fully aware that i'm going to get absolutely humbled by new romancer because i'm not going to understand a single thing that's going on what am i basing that off i'm not entirely sure it just looks like it's going to be difficult this is my haul and this is also my thumbnail so i haven't pulled any fast ones on you um yeah so i i got quite a lot of books to read all sci-fi and i think this winter i'm gonna focus on reading some sci-fi so you're gonna see a lot more science fiction reviews uh if i don't know malas on my pop up who knows thank you to everyone in the discords that recommended me some books even though i mostly just picked up the cheapest ones and the ones that my library had so i basically ignored everyone but hey ho that's life